Hey y'all, what's going on? Okay, so the picture that y'all see up here, right here, is the timestamps of when the CSI team, if you don't know what CSI stand for, is Crime Scene Investigator. <clears throat> they are the ones that go swab, dust for prints. Day job is like one of the most important jobs when it comes to crime because they come there after the crime scene to collect evidence, <clears throat> right? And any crime, any anything that goes on, they're the ones that collect the evidence. Their job, <clears throat> for me, is the most important because when the detectives do their job, they're doing it based off of the evidence that these people collect and they go through and they, they decipher and go through the evidence. <clears throat> okay, the first picture at the top is them going into the house. Okay, these people went into the house. Let me see, um, 12, 13, 14, 15. 3.32, okay? They came out at 3.46. It wasn't even 15 minutes, bro. Y'all was in there for 14 minutes. This is military time. So 15.32 and 15.46, military time. You telling me some something happened to somebody and y'all was only in there for 14 minutes? 14 it took y'all 14 minutes to collect <clears throat> what y'all needed to be able to determine what happened in this case. You can't tell me, bro, y'all did enough. <clears throat> and this, this is really upsetting. And maybe this is the reason why ain't nobody been arrested yet. Because what did y'all do in there? <clears throat> Part of the time, <clears throat> mind you, and this ain't even like the full, because mind you, they're walking in there. But who knows when they walked in there, if they was talking to detectives during that time before they even started collecting anything. Why was y'all only in there for 15 minutes? For, correction, 14 minutes. I hate to say bad things about my people, but I ain't really... If I'm going to also post a video, too, of them going in and coming out so you can get their energy. For some reason, their energy is a little bit too nonchalant for me. Like, I don't... And it's not because of the skin color, you know, because our people be on it. But... I don't I don't know. Maybe it's just because they at work, they got a good rapport with each other and they just, you know, whatever. But it's they a little bit too nonchalant for me. Like I need somebody that's gonna be serious, take their job serious, and really be in there like, was y'all just ready to go home? Cause it seemed like y'all was just ready to go home. You feel me? Like, what job did you do in there? Like, what what, what did y'all collect? <clears throat> and then in the bag, it was only like three little items inside of the bag. Like, like it was a, a big bag and it had like three little bags and like a little plastic bag. When a man bent over, <clears throat> when he bent over um, to, to see what was in there, he was like, oh yeah, that's what I thought. But what was it? We couldn't even see what was in there. I'm like, is y'all the real CSI? Did somebody hire y'all to come in there before? The, like, I'm confused, bro. Anyway, I'm going to see y'all in the next reading. Tell me what y'all think because this right here. I, right now, I'm getting ready to do the terror reading, so I'm just doing, I'm getting all my footage and stuff together so I can put it in within the video. And when I looked, when I went back and looked at, like, the time frame that they were in there, it really upset me. And I just really had to do this video real quick because it just really made me mad. I mean, when you're doing a crime scene, I mean, how long is, is, is long enough and how long is too short? Like, please let me know.